Episode something something, oh. Snobcast. Got the crew here. By the crew, I mean the trio. Oh. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Chef Tom, mm. Hype Man Steve, they're all by my side. We're all enjoying a nice little brewski. As we should. As usual. Yeah. Yeah. As usual. Seem to be doing this every time we have a podcast, huh? It's uh, something of tradition. Is this maybe, our thing? Uh, maybe a beer company should sponsor us. Yeah, oh. maybe a non well, We could mention the beer. Oh, but we, yeah. did get, we did get some sponsors. I'm going to get to that halfway through the episode. We have, oh. we have two oh, sponsors. Oh, yeah. oh, that's this week. Yes, that's this week. Oh. Yeah. Big moves uh, happening uh, around the Snobcast. Yeah. Yeah. Very fun. Yes, yes, yes. Very excited to hear about that. They only, they only paid for, <laughs> for like one commercial, so they're only getting it at like... The twenty-five minute to like thirty-minute mark, depending on you know, how much. Well, I think uh, that's fair. I mean, the more commercials you get, the better timing <laughs> we'll offer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, commercials yeah. during um, radio broadcasts. Oh, yeah, God. the drive home and the morning show. Oh, which yeah. one do you choose? You know, <laughs> <laughs> the drive home or the morning show. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. Um, do, do you guys listen to radio, like the radio in the car? Not anymore. I worked at a radio station for like. Five years. Oh God, excuse me. Uh, sometimes when um, my dad is really low. But even then, yeah, I'll just switch <laughs> when, to CDs. When you have no other option between that, <laughs> silence, or the wind. <laughs> I heard b- b- when my I'm with my dad and it's really low. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, oh, he means his data. What is yeah. data? You wouldn't be mic'd well if you were low. You'd be like, dad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, radio... Uh, Radio is disappointing, is what it is, because, well, because uh, I know con- all the backstories of uh, you know the contests and things. Well, you know what? Even oh. beyond all that contest shit, just the selection here in Montreal is not varied oh. at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean contest? What contest? Like how they're rigged and whatever. The contests are rigged. They're not rigged, but you know, they caller can- nine. There's no caller nine. There's no caller nine. It's it's whoever sounds excited. Yeah. Oh my God. I want a radio station. Yeah, oh my exactly. God, I've been dying to see Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did a giveaway once for Hanson. Get a meeting out. Also, so, um, mm-hmm. that's all we could oh, do. Oh yeah, guys. we can't. Uh, yeah, we can't uh, yeah. That's it. That was like. Who would have thought that those would have become lyrics? You know, it's a great song though. I'm not gonna. I, that song. Last time I think I heard it uh, was my cousin's wedding, and uh, we were really hammered. But the one you like, went to last year. No, it was like no, two years, two ago, years ago, three years. Ago. Yeah. Actually, three years. Actually, this month. Oh, well, um, Yeah, uh, we that song that was a request by by someone and for real, and they played it and it what was a, great. What a great request! Well, is it a live band? Imagine if it would have been a live band. That would have been even more impressive. <laughs> Here's the lyrics. Really, yeah, everyone, sing with me. <laughs> 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 Nobody sings it back, just like you guys did. <laughs> Everybody's at the bar. What do you well, want to know? it's a wedding. People are uncooperative. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Especially when, oh my god! Uh, Especially sometimes. Have you ever been to those weddings where they got to give the speech? <laughs> Someone's got to give a speech, and it's like, okay, guys, it's time. You know, the, the, you know, it's time. It's time for the toast. You know, and you. Everybody's like, oh, the fuck, oh shut the fuck. Everybody's like, you know, except there's like that one table. Yeah, like obviously near the bar, or put us fucking far away from everybody else. Like they're our either, table. Yeah. yeah, they're either yeah. no, they're either near the bar or they're near the kitchen, like that entrance. And it's like sh- they put them there, and it's shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear. Yeah, and they're all over there. My God, and on top of that, this hall, I heard that. And you know, and 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 the girls on stage trying to give her speech. You know, and it's yeah, shut the fuck up. I've already warned uh, Steve in, in advance multiple times. Whenever I get married. Uh, sorry, Tom. It's not you, the best man. It's Steve. Uh, yeah, it's hype man. That's you're not it. gonna have a best man. You're gonna have a hype man. I'm gonna have a hype man. <laughs> you should definitely have a hype um, man. And he's gonna. Uh, he's already sweating. 
he's, yeah. he's profusely sweating. Oh my God. You're going to have to organize a bachelor party in Vegas. Oh, yes, I oh, will. Boy. You know all the ins and outs now. I do now. Yeah. Oh, shit. That looks like we're going shooting. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, no, not that kind of shooting oh, in oh, Vegas, oh. though. <laughs> like target shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Well, stationary, non-animate. Yeah, uh, like uh, paper, uh, uh, paper things. Paper yeah. targets. Yeah. Paper yeah. targets, paper. not people. Yes, uh, I think that was. Anyways. I thought that was implied. Yeah, but really, the, the fact that you implied, like, to like said it now, now you made it weird. Yeah, uh, uh, I think we're gonna have yeah. to cut you out of the podcast. Uh, yeah, uh, do I just? I could just not include my audio <laughs> in any of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, <laughs> but you there's, were a whole, there's a whole show where your audio is missing. We just sound <laughs> fucked we're just up. talking, and, you're not, you're not <laughs> and you just hear me from your mic like this. Everybody just hears me say something like that. Oh my god, they forgot the mic thump. <laughs> no, I cut myself out. <laughs> you went to a wedding recently, didn't you? Cater one, yes. least not your cousins, because we mentioned that a few oh, episodes yeah, 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 ago. No, no, not, my, <laughs> not my cousins. Who knows when this episode gets aired? But uh, yes, by uh, Christmas. In, in so Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in in uh, uh, during yes, uh, right before Thanksgiving. Yes, I came, Canadian uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Canadian Thanksgiving, not American Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was. Um, the uh, it was it was crazy. There was like there were like seven DJs doing sets. Mm. That like, that's like, a, I've never seen. It like was more like, than one DJ. Yeah, switch. but this was like, I don't like know. no, that's why that's ballon pretty, uh, blanc like hardcore, hardcore like bo- like like, cuts, like cuts, EDM cuts, like Molly fest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Is that is that was that what it was like? Was uh, there a Molly everywhere? Uh, there might have been a lot. Because um, you you put, you you know you, is it partook? Is that a word? No, I did not partake. I needed okay. to part. <laughs> the, the the only taking I did was I partaked or took partook, partook, partook my partook, ass yeah. home. Partook your ass because, home because oh. it was like it was a long ass day. It was like nine in the morning till eleven thirty at night. That's like, rough. That's, that's a fucking. It's a rough day. <laughs> Jeez. You're telling me. But those people for sure didn't get the hell out of there by 3 o'clock. Guaranteed. <laughs> Let me tell you. The party was... I was leaving at 11.30 and the party was just getting started. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it sounded like it was a, quite the party. I mean, at that point, so... I, I had my own, uh, I had my own party upstairs. You should have, you should have been in the kitchen. The kitchen was a fun place to be. Well, if you so would have let me sue, chef. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 So was it like a, like a <laughs> was it like a David Guetta, Martin Garrix thing, or what's no, happening here? No, no, no. It was uh, Zed. No, it was more like a Benny cl- Benassi. It was more like a like a Clint Russell, like uh, like boiler room, a good old boiler room. So Vin Diesel was there. Yeah, that's a movie boiler have, room. Yeah, could have been based yeah. off the you know the John Grisham novel. No, the, the, I don't know what John. Grisham. Oh, I think that's actual. That's not factual. Yeah. John well, Grisham novel? Well, it, yeah, it's based on... Uh, Boiler Room with Vin Diesel is based on a John Grisham novel. Is it John? No, it's based off... Uh, sorry, Jordan uh, Belfort's whole... Uh, oh, Jesus I thought Christ. you were going to put... I, I swear to God, I thought you were going to pull out a name like Martel Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising at all. That's a power name. That's a, that's a power name. What was it again? Repeat that slowly. Martel Cox. C-O-X. C-O-X. <laughs> Martel Cox. And he's I, white. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, and he he used to be an all pro quarterback, and now he's CEO of like of cocaine. Yeah, yeah, some sort of company. Yeah, Martel Cox. Martel Cox. I like that. Cox Industry. <laughs> Cox Industries. <laughs> uh, that's such a that's such a like a little boys joke, but we laugh at it. Cause yeah, well, because we're little boys, I guess. Well, yeah. yeah. There's a little boy bodies. There's a little boy. (laughs) There's a little boy inside everybody. Just the same way that some people have creepy uncles inside them. That's a good point. I don't have one, but uh, Uh, do you? uh, Do I have a creepy? Yeah, I feel like in uh, sex ed class they kind of warned us all about uh, your rapey uncles, but I'm. uh, (laughs) Are you not? Are you not telling us because? Okay, because that didn't happen to you. No, but it's in all the the fucking books. I remember it's in the manual when we were in the kids. It was always like. The uncle, he looked like he was like 27. And he's always like, like Don't <laughs> Just touch for those me. listening, Steve was almost going to grab uh, Tommy's yeah. balls. Yeah, it looked like Steve looked <laughs> like he was puking and about to drop a beat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looked like a, like, a, like a DJ on the cusp of vomit. Yeah, so anyways, that's my... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Dirty uncle story. Very accurate. Well, or lack of. Lack of. Yeah, I don't have a dirty uncle Very accurate. Story, yeah. I guess. But, uh, That's um, for boring, I guess. <laughs> no, but it was uh, it was interesting. I like burned my hands over there at the... Uh, Oh, what a turn of what a t- turn of events! Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, because but going back to the the whole place was beautiful though. We're talking about the wedding, right? Yeah. <laughs> so looking... I'm not talking about that experience I had with my uh, my. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The uh, the um, the yeah, matrimonial, yeah, yeah, it event. Was, it, was, it was really nice. It was cool. They make their own wine there. They make their own champagne. Yeah, which you, is nice. you, uh, so it's a vineyard. Yeah, it is exactly uh, wine, champagne. Well, sparkling wine. Anyway. Sparkling? No, no, champagne. No. What? Ch- anyway, son. What? Okay, I'm gonna what? be the asshole. Champagne has to come from France. Champagne. From champagne. No, but like, how okay. Not, yeah. okay. okay. It was there. I had to. Do you have any? Sorry, I'm sorry. They make I their had own, to do it. It was right there. They make their own. They make their own brut. Is that okay for you? <laughs> Is that okay for you? That's fantastic. Oh, okay, perfect. Maybe uh, if if anyone has thoughts about this, you can email us. Uh, yeah, please <laughs> send in your thoughts to Stephen. Tell me he's an asshole. Oh my god! It has to come from champagne. champagne. <laughs> oh, my. You know what? Just get the fuck out. Do you just do you buy your mozzarella in, from Campania too, or or is it from Friuli? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like where do you get it from? You can't get. You can't use Campobassian from uh, wherever Saputo gets it. Oh, okay. uh, so, it's from, so it's from Saint Leonard. No. Wow. So from, <laughs> so, you bur- so tell us about how you burnt your hands. Yeah. So basically, uh, I was uh, we were doing mashed potatoes and they were inside a piping bag and the piping bag was piping hot. <laughs> And one one thing left to another led to another a hundred times or so because there were a hundred people and by the time I put down <laughs> those potatoes, is it bad that my, I, I laugh every time I hear piping? <laughs> my hands were <laughs> fucking red. Like I I couldn't I I I, I dunked them in water like in ice water right away because so I was like, what the fuck? Is, I, is, does that help? Because uh, I feel like I burnt myself times not like you but like you know touching something that's you know hot. And I put my hand in the cold water, and it makes it worse. Um, Fun I mean, fact: it, depend, it depends how bad the burn is. Like, you usually get a blister. I feel if you get I have a blister, one now. it happened last night yeah. because I touched the pan. I don't know why. Oh, don't you hate that when you touch <laughs> yeah. the pan? You go ah, and like why did I do that? Yeah. Ah. But now no, there's a bit you of a never bubble, think why did I do that. You always think, fuck. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but also, why did I touch yeah. hot? You know. Yeah. What happened with the brain there? Uh, you're, you, my, I mean, my mom's always told me, and I, when I did do it, it did feel uh, good, but like you use like warm water. Just like, <laughs> it's weird. I know, but see, that's crazy. I would have gone for cold, like a rookie. I think I feel like cold just shocks the skin, so it's more likely to blister more. Uh, right. You know, mm. you know what I mean? So like, did it blister your hand? Or? Uh, I know. No. You're here today. I'm here so. today, and I'm holding a mic. It's not, a good start, man. Not start. piping hot potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, but uh, yeah, so but it was good. Food was great. We do a great job because we yeah, know we're how still to cook. catering. We're still catering. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm so, I'm sorry for anybody else who's ever gotten something catered and it didn't taste good. It's just because you didn't call me. So, That's yeah. a pretty good. Point, and you can actually. follow Tom and his food adventures on Chef Tom. <laughs> but I almost forgot oh, your Instagram handle, <laughs> Chef <laughs> Thomas Di <Di> Donato. <laughs> Chef Tom the bomb dot com. Oh, like you were gonna say something like, something that. like that. Are, are you our uh, one sponsor that paid for the one episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have done that. No, I actually <laughs> didn't do that. <laughs> oh, I Next time on uh, Snobcast. Oh my god, I can't wait. In like ten more minutes, I'm gonna do these sponsors, and I hope they're funny. <laughs> I hope they're funny too, Tom. because it's hilarious. But Steve, anything happening with you? I feel like uh, you know you look well rested. Oh, yeah. You know what? I uh, I slept a lot. I actually overslept today. It was horrible. I was in that <laughs> thing where it's like you know your alarm's going off, but then you're like, uh, and then after you're like half in a dream and half not, so you don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> I don't remember what it was about though, but it was something pretty uh, pretty awesome. I want to continue. So with. sex? No, I think you know what? I think uh, um, you were murdering someone. Like I don't want to say it was that, but it was something cool. <laughs> so like you you had like a like a sword is what you're saying i might have oh. i can't remember did you toss it that. and pull out your glock <laughs> i need to find out what that game is <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know there's some kind of uh, vr game where you're in some gl- like 
I don't medieval know, kind of situation. Yeah, gladiator ring or whatever the fuck it is, and it looks completely ridiculous. Oh, my God. So if so somebody funny. knows, uh, you know, hit up the the email that we have yet to give out. Uh, or- actually, <laughs> well, no, actually, we can, we, can, we can give it out, I feel. We can give it out if anybody, well, go ahead if anybody wants to reach yeah. us with. Even if they have any ideas or any or segments, questions. questions, if you guys want our advice on stuff. Please. Whatever it is. I'd love to give some advice I'd on like, anything oh, in life. Yeah, please. <laughs> I've I've lived through quite a few a few nothings. Would you like to have the advice of snobs? This is your chance. Yeah. So yeah. what's the email, Thomas? Uh, the email is uh, snob cast <laughs> Sorry. pod. So please repeat that. Yeah. Snobcast pod. P O D. P O D. Like the band. At gmail.com. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. The was snobcast at gmail just taken already? Yes, or? believe it or not. Really? Yes. Oh, we'll kill them. There's also a couple of other snobcasts on Spotify in but German. They're, they're like German, which is very <laughs> which weird. Is, which is yeah. uh, which I feel like our listeners have no choice. But if you if you go on spodcast on Spotify, just listen to the English. You said spodcast. You said spodcast. <laughs> but... Spodcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snobcast. Fuck. I meant Spotify and snobcast. Who knows? Well, we just bought them. <laughs> Steve, do you want to say hi to our German uh, listeners? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Uh, That's sch- how you say it. I mean, yeah. this is getting more interesting. Uh, uh, der Schnitzel. <laughs> uh, uh, Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I have a Bayern Munich track pants. I really hey, like. You were there when I got them. I was. Hey, Steve Spreckensy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, what's happening. Yeah, here. other than that, I had you look well. Right? What do you say? You say you slept a lot this oh, weekend. Yeah, for once, it was very nice. Wow. You know, I was there. I was like, did you hit the CBD? Not awake. What? Some CBD? Is that what that was? No, just like... Oh, oh I'm so tired. Oh, my but, God. but that was like at 5 a.m. Oh. <laughs> 5 a.m. Then he well, slept know, like 2. You know what, Steve? No, like 11. Much, much felicitation to you. Oh. <laughs> I also woke up at 11 this weekend. I, oh. I've just uh, been conquering this disgusting man cold. Yes, uh, it's been yeah. plaguing you uh, for a little bit now. Since like, last week. Yeah, but yeah, now week. Uh, on the weekend, on Saturday, I was comatose. Like oh. I couldn't breathe. Oh. So uh, so I needed to get rid of it and uh, as a man should uh, he bitched I bitched about it and I lied down and I watched like four movies. Oh perfect. Did you yeah. put yeah. Vicks vapor rub all over you? <laughs> no, I put it in my nostrils though because I thought that would do oh. something. But then I discovered No, you can't put it in your nostrils. I always, it feels nice. You can eat oh. it. Yeah. What? what? I'm good, bro. I want to die. Uh, don't don't imagine. I, I heard this like. thing. <laughs> I heard this thing where if, apparently if you put it on the soles of your feet with socks it instantly oh. cures a, a cough. I heard Really? Oh, a cough. Well, like overnight type thing. Uh, well, I heard the whole, the whole like feet thing before. I yeah. didn't know for that. There's that. And then uh, I also discovered a nasal spray, which is fantastic. Oh, great. Good for you. Which bro. we're not going to mention because they didn't pay us. So. Yeah, did you ever do a sinus Anybody rinse? Anybody nasal spray? I guess you can consider that a sinus rinse, what I did. Well, I mean, is it, well, is it, like, it, a, is it like one of those that you go... <laughs> yeah, and it comes through the... through the, the, the That's not a sinus That's not a sinus rinse. rinse. No. And I guess I didn't do a sinus, a sinus rinse. I, I did a sinus nasal spray. You, you spray the bottle. <laughs> yeah, you spray the bottle, and there's like a fountain of water that comes out of the yeah, other that looks, nostril. That looks uh, really fucked up. I, 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 I do it at home, and it's actually... Uh, you don't it, feel like you're drowning or anything? Is it, what? No, because you have Well, to, there's like water and no, shit. You tell, like, you, no, because there's instructions that you need to read. I know you don't like reading instructions, <laughs> but you got to read the instructions that tells you you tilt your head front, and you twist your head, so like this, the water just naturally goes and down. And you trust there. that. It works. Uh, if you do it right, it works. <laughs> if you don't do it right, you're on the receiving end of the inside of your nasal cavity. I feel as like a juice. I feel like it's <laughs> like, like a portable like waterboard me. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't do a nasal wow. nasal rinse. If that's, that's <laughs> wow. Moral of the story. Wow. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is, pussy money? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. What just happened right now? I don't know. <laughs> Must be this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> We're getting really broke on the beer. Yeah, preferably somebody that can give us a blue ribbon, you know? Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, I see what you did there, you mm, sneaky, sneaky 5.9. Uh, an, yeah, an alcohol <laughs> content of 5.9, just right. Just right, just brewed, perfect. He brewed with water from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You just want us to die. Oh, my God. I wanted Steve to spit it all over your couch. <laughs> I really would not like that. Fuck I, your couch. I just cleaned my apartment, <laughs> like... For the love of God. Oh, that would be the worst. Oh, my God. We're already talking about religion. Oh, I just... (laughs) Are you surprised? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
How Imagine you just clean and somebody has like cereal and you know that yeah, cereal dust. That would be you. Is, oh, that would oh, be Oh, God. The, the, the bit that's at the bottom of the bag, like you see yeah, yeah. As, you, <laughs> yeah. as you're holding it. Yeah. And it just goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I already hate when it shows up on my uh, counter in my oh, kitchen. You, I hate it more when it's in my cereal. I don't mind oh. it so much. Well, really? Because it tastes I like, like cereal. I like drinking mm. that milk at the, milk, the end, yeah. you know. But oh, then and then you, you get like the bits, sand. It's yeah, not pleasant. you're there. And you're, <laughs> yeah, because you're drinking it as if it's like a, a liquid thing, but there's actually some solid, like texture to it. So it's like, uh, what is this? Yeah, imagine you're just like, mm, I'm so thirsty. And you're like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one corn flake that gets stuck in your throat, <laughs> oh, and it just it just flops around and it. <laughs> It's like a second epiglottis, you know? <laughs> uh, God, look at us talking about anatomy like we're fucking... Like we're doctors. Like this is NPR or some <laughs> shit. Well, <laughs> actually, the, the economical term of the word. Uh, you know, like if I would just go into like some that's, boring that's, shit. I, um... Hmm. Well, not boring. Some people find it interesting. <laughs> get off on economics and politics. Good for them. People get off yeah. on that stuff. That's not, that's not why people come here. No. People come here... To hear what what life's really about, <laughs> which is about snobs, snobs being yeah. being a snob is part of life. Huh? It's an important part of life. You know what I hate? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me, Mister Seinfeld. Oh. <laughs> I hate. I was thinking of this just now, and because uh, I wasn't listening to you guys. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know when you go to like a fast food joint, yeah, and you're paying with your debit or your credit card, right? Yeah. And they and they give you the the machine for your debit for your debit card. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they already have it on the tip option. I always put no. I always put no as well. Thank you. It pisses me off. Thank you. The tip is reserved for waiting stuff. It's not, not for you to for give me your food. Yeah. It's, or you punched in how much money yeah. I'm gonna need to give you. You don't you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh you're, that's that's presumptuous. You don't you don't get me what? a whoa. Wait. Oh like the tip, or just like what it costs. I have. When did they punch no, no, no. So, so what they do is they give you the the machine. Yeah. For your card. Yeah. yeah. They punch. But yeah. they prepared it. They to punched the in the amount. The like your amount's twenty dollars. Yeah. But they gave it to you on the tip. On the tip. Yeah. First. Yeah. So you have. So I always put no. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're just giving me my food. Like you're not yeah. coming no, to yeah, my yeah, table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like Steve's looking at us and he's like, "Yeah, I've definitely tipped." Yeah. Well, so, I mean, well, depends. Well. Depends <laughs> where. Depends where. No. And what. No. No. Well, I mean, if I go to a cafe, you know, the guy's making you a coffee. Oh, cafe! Yeah, but I don't, you know, different. like I won't tip. I won't tip at you know American fast food chains. You know, like, no, for no. sure. Like fuck that. Yeah, I just that I was just thinking about that because it happened to me earlier and I was pissed off. Yeah, pissed some, and sometimes don't they, do you ever get a look? You ever get like a yeah, like you didn't tip me, but all you did yeah. was just give me my food on a tray. Like first like of a all, cafeteria. First of all, all, all this shawarma is on a warming platter. <laughs> it's not like you cook like oh like look at the look at the guy in the kitchen running around cooking me my fresh meal. Also, give me a fucking smile. You, yeah, you know? not the cook. I don't give a shit about. The I cook, don't. But I the, don't mind the knuckle hair in my food if it yeah. comes with a smile. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's that's, that's that was my thought of the day. Honestly, I think that's oh. really good. We're like we're it. glad you shared it. Yeah, it yeah. was very good. It really so pisses it's, me off. It's good because I've seen bakeries now ask for the bakeries. Well, ba- well, Bakery? I mean, you know the big the, the, yeah. the girl the young girls that like run around like you're like fucking twelve. No, they're running around. They're giving me your cannolis. No. They're giving me your bread. No, put two bucks in the no. jar if you want. No, but don't force me. Why? I said don't force me. No, don't do it. You're gonna t- you're not teaching them what life's about. Because then they graduate from there and they go work at, you know, uh, McDonald's, some, some pickup counter and. Uh, <laughs> Can all we not the, say names? All of a sudden, they're not getting uh, they're not getting food. You know, they're not getting paid uh, tips for their food. You know, like yeah, they, they're gonna fall up. They're there. And, oh, I thought I was gonna get all these. No, I'm with. Uh, t- I wouldn't yeah. necessarily tip at a bakery until they become big. You know what I mean? When they become like big waitresses. But what if? Okay, so what if you had a bakery? <laughs> like, <laughs> like no, like in Hooters, restaurants, like, like in the Hooters, old port, right. You know, like those yeah. people yeah. on tip. You know what I mean? When no, they graduate like, to Hooters. Yeah, then no, you can no, tip them. No, <laughs> like they do that now. No, don't they? Don't they, the Hooters is like hard to get into. You gotta. You gotta I've never been to just one. Just gotta have huge breasts to get into Hooters. Well, that's why it's called Hooters, isn't it? I know, but there were people like that were making a case for like that. That's like really bad discrimination, and they had to start hiring, you know, uh, tweeters. <laughs> tweeters? What? Well, I don't know. It's like, like you know, Tweety like, Bird. Yeah, like no, like tweeters, like the speakers, you know, the little ones. <laughs> Well, you're gonna call. I don't know what the smaller version of small breasts are. Headers, Uh, headers, small breasts. What are you gonna call them? Small breasts, I guess. But in the '90s, Hooters was the thing. I don't know if you guys. uh, For me, I remember always Big Daddy. 
Oh, they, did, at the, great movie. They, they, they go to Hooters in the beginning of the film, and when, uh, the ex-wife when? works there. He has a party there or whatever, and he brings the kid at one point to Hooters. It's like, Amazing. oh, because oh, you got big jugs or something like that, you know? Okay, oh, I remember wow. him saying that, but I don't remember them being at Hooters. Anyways, it's Hooters. Uh, Leslie Mann, who's not married to Jared Apatow, is the girl in... Who uh, is Adam Sandler's, I think, ex wife or ex girlfriend or something? Full circle. Yeah. I don't know why that's full circle. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, then it would just be a botched breast job if it wasn't full circle. Yeah, I guess so. That was my random fact of the day. Wow. <laughs> I, I, double, like, I, I double hit. Your, I double your, hit those. Oh, no, I did the one okay. that I my thought of the day. This was my okay, random so your fact of the day. Was, okay. I yeah. Feel, I, I feel like you. I'm gonna do some sponsors now. Oh, oh it's time for <laughs> all sponsors. Right, all right. Do you want me to intro the sponsors? Do you want me just to? You can. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to hear from our sponsors. Well, that's <laughs> that was have a very really, professional. Did you work in radio? I just said that. Oh, wow, <laughs> you weren't lying. Okay, so sponsors. So today's episode of Snobcast is brought to you by Nipsey's. I can't believe I have to read this. <laughs> they're, they're paying you. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read it? <laughs> no, try. he's been... Di- oh, you can try. <laughs> Today's episode of Snobcast is brought to you by Nipsies. <laughs> Did you know that the... <laughs> Did you know that the cold? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. Today's episode of Snobcast is brought to you by Nipsey's. Did you know that the cold, the cold here in the Great White North can really affect your skin? We want to help protect one of the most sensitive yet overlooked areas of your body. Nipsey's uses proprietary heat sink technology. <laughs> To use the heat of your areolas to protect your nipples against the cold. Use code SNOBCAST at checkout on nipsies.com and get two more covers. Great as a gift or in case you lose your own. <laughs> Nipsies. Nips your nips. Thank you to Nipsies. Uh. Oh, uh, actually, we have another. Yeah, uh, two sponsors. We have another yeah. sponsor. Yeah, well, I think you're going to have to read that one, too. I can't uh, do that. <laughs> I, I, I got you, Don. <laughs> Snopcast is also brought to you by Alejandro Battaglia. In the mood for a pair of jeans that feel tailor-made? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever just needed to buy alcohol <laughs> past 11 p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're just looking for someone to talk to about last night's football game. <laughs> Call... <laughs> Four three eight six 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 five five one one, and ask for Alejandro. Alejandro Battaglia. Loneliness never felt so crowded. <laughs> I can't believe we got sponsored by these people. <laughs> Thank you so much to our sponsors this week for Snobcast. Alejandro Battaglia and Nipsies. Is it Nipsies? Nipsies. Yeah. 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 I just want to say, uh, yeah. Alejandro, great guy. Yeah. Great fucking guy. <laughs> Uh, he's always been there. So he's been there since the beginning, I think. Yeah. What a great. <laughs> Alejandro um, Battaglia. Oh he's not God. related to Mario Battaglia, is he? Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> then we'd have some issues with sponsoring. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he, he used to own Italy. Mario Battaglia? I think it was just, not just him. I think it was a few guys. Yeah, right? a few guys. Yeah. But I feel like yeah. he had to leave. Uh, well, <laughs> that a little uh, touchy touchy. Really? Little, uh, I didn't. Oh, you didn't know that? I didn't hear that. He got huh? me too. Yes. Yeah, a no. little, a little too much me also. Re- I Mario Batali. Yeah, but he's also really fucking ugly. I don't. Yeah. Know <laughs> yeah. I also thought he was gay for a, a yeah. while. Yeah. Is he not gay? I don't know. All right. He I don't know. Like, that's do nothing. I'm just. I always no. thought he was. He gay. looks like a weird action Bronson. <laughs> yeah. You know the thing I'm with doing. action Bronson. You mention him a lot. But, Wow! Uh, no, you kind of do. I do. Thank you, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Fuck! If I, if I was alone on that, I would have hung myself. <laughs> this is the first time the podcasters have ever spoken like that to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've never mentioned this. Do we have to give you a warning before? I don't <laughs> oh, well, sorry, our thing's not scripted, so I don't know. We don't really come to these things prepared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about a round of applause for Dominic Carbone, guys? Ooh, for this Dom Carbone. <laughs> 
the ra- random uh, Eric Andre style applause in the middle of a yeah. podcast. Yeah. Also, Get- shout out to our uh, studio audience that it's not here today. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um, thank oh, you, sir. You just got evicted. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting evicted tonight. Dom Carbone, uh, as you uh, we mentioned before, it does our theme song. Yeah, mm-hmm. great. The theme from theme Snapcast. Song. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, he's also part of a, bl- a band called House Fly Hub. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they'll be going on tour at some point. Uh, at some point. Some point for sure. Yeah, yeah. Buy Probably. your tickets on snobreviews.com. Oh, imagine. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna- <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. probably. Well, get, then, we need some action on that site. Snobreviews.com. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, ah, we're gonna, we're gonna For all your latest. <laughs> Snobreviews. Yeah, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be good. We've got these podcasts on. It's, uh, it's all... Uh, it's coming. It's, it, everything's yeah. flowing together. Much like this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could say that. It's like this podcast is like a weekly period. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got it. I got yeah. what you meant. Uh, I didn't well, uh, yeah, but like, that was a bit of a... Because we flow. No, I, I got that. Just uh, like ant flow. I Are you? Because it's a different Steve's example. Steve's not okay with periods. That's uh, right. no. Okay. It's not. I know. It's just like we don't have to be blood. We can. People be who get who periods who generally don't like them. So like you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well that's well, what yeah. I'm. Yeah. That's why I was a bit of a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom just burped uh, yeah. off mic. Off mic. So. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Sorry for the 4D these, smell. These these beers are going down really, uh, really smooth. Really smooth. Yeah, it's almost as if we had a. Sponsor. It deserved a blue ribbon. Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> I. W- <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Um, uh, so uh, you didn't you see any movies? You said me. You saw Why some are you pointing movies? fingers at me? It's your fucking. Show. I watched a lot this of. This is your rodeo. Yeah, I don't know when this <laughs> is airing, but uh, I watched El Camino, the Breaking oh, Bad shit. film. Shit, El Camionero. Yeah. <laughs> And which how I, was that? Which I quite enjoyed. It was a very slow burn. It was kind of like a really long Breaking Bad episode. It was but like just Peter, with Jesse Pinkman. It was like when Peter Griffin hurt his knee. The, yeah, a slow burn. <sighs> yeah, kind of like that, I guess. Oh, perfect. And then I, I watched a, a few other old films. I watched Barry Lyndon, which is directed by Stanley Kubrick. Oh, uh, that's did a, you like it? I had seen it already. I that's just sick. chose to re- rewatch it. I imagine that guy went. That guy went from from making children's toys to movies. You know, quite, quite the leap. Yeah, the, the, the Kubrick's cube. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Not the same uh, guy. Apologies. That's the Rubik's cube. Oh. 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 Yeah. 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 Not, yeah okay, okay. No, he did the other one. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 The Kubrick's cube. Yeah. When you solve it, 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 it takes your soul or something. <laughs> yeah. Once you uh, solve it, it shows you JFK's killer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh no, David Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> I also watched Moonstruck, which, oh, I, which I hadn't watched in a long time. What a great movie! Yeah, you saw good. Cosmos Moon. I saw Cosmos Moon. It's Cosmos wow. Moon. Wow. La la luna, la bella luna. That old man is. Yeah. is that the one with uh, Nicolas Cage? And sure, yeah. Snap out of it. That's yeah. the one. Get the big knife. Yeah, and he has like no hand. <laughs> it. <laughs> he got my wife. And the machine took my arm. Yeah, this, was, I watched it. Yeah, I was like, uh, no, Johnny, no, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie Camerari, Ronnie, Ronnie Camerari. Uh, well, yeah. what's his name? Who, who, who's the actor that played his brother? Now? Danny Aiello. Johnny, Johnny Aiello. Yeah, Johnny Camerari goes to Palermo to yeah. save his dying mother. Then the mother, then the mother finds out he's getting married, and she's so all of a sudden yeah. she's saved. Yeah, like yeah. every other grandmother, I feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said that. It's very New York. Yeah, very Italian. A very York. great. It's a great movie. I yeah. I, I enjoy it. It's classic. It's very, it's very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cher won Best Actress. Good Oscar for her. For she that. deserved it, man. She's, yeah. uh, she did a great job. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, I is, saw part of it, and I didn't like it at all. Oh, I don't want to know why, Steve. Honestly. Well... Because you don't have taste there. Uh, are you fucking oh. kidding me? Unless I'm... I'm, I'm not... Th- was she in another movie? She was in a few movies. Yeah. yeah. There was I one with, ja- with Jackie Nichols. I feel like I'm thinking of Moonstruck. Though. Jackie Nichols? Yeah, there was one with Jack Nichols. Oh, The Witches of Eastwick. That's I didn't it. see that. That's a great movie, actually. Moonstruck, she has big hair. She's the Italian. Yeah, uh, she, that, okay, she yeah, talks no, like it was, this. It was, it was horrible. Like she's, wow. Well, yeah. Okay. So, I didn't watch all of it, though. If that ah, so well, I, I mean. Uh, did you see Nicolas Cage in it? Or? I feel, I don't remember. How much of it did you watch? All. Half of it. So I, I don't so know. So he's in like more than half the, the movie. The, so. the second half is like the first half. So if you didn't like it. 
Oh, so then, you know, no, it's an Oscar nominated film. It's yeah. Oh my it's god, it's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good. Cool. I think it's Comedy. just because it's not your, you know, it's, it's not a shtick. It's not your stick. You don't like that. That stick. No, like, there, there's <laughs> not my shtick, and then there's like, what the fuck was that? Well, Steve, it's like I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't like it. It's very Italian, very Italian American. No, well, does Steve exactly. listen to like it's fucking all... contem- contemporary like classical music? What? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what. That's like two. That's a. Con- it's very big extreme. It's very big extreme. I know. Tom. Okay, but Steve, like you don't like those kind of movies. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like, like rom coms. It's like you prefer. You prefer, no, I enjoy a good rom com. You prefer international. Like I won't go out of my to way regular. to like a good one. What? You prefer international music to regular. To <laughs> regular. Yeah. To like, yeah. In, to, to, like every, to everyday international. music. International. Inner. <laughs> you know. And everyday music. You know. So it's no surprise that you don't like rom coms. I didn't say I don't like rom coms. It's a rom com. It's a rom com. It's Steve. a shitty rom com. Wow. Okay. okay. If you could send in uh, your thoughts at snobcastpod at gmail dot com and you can blast Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Tag share in those blasts. I share. I'm okay. Am I like misremembering it because I was really remembering it being really bad? It's really great. Film. Wow. Uh, no. It's you, a great. You're film. probably thinking of Couples Retreat. No, I never is, saw which it. Which is very horrible. It's a horrible. I movie. never saw Couples yeah, Retreat. No. Uh, it's, you, uh, you'd think with all that star power they would have had a good movie <laughs> guys very bad. speaking about star power Paul Rudd is going to be on Hot Ones this week yeah, yeah. very excited that, did you watch the one with Noel Gallagher I didn't you uh, think I have time Tom uh, <laughs> it's shame so, on you it's so good Noel Gallagher doesn't give a fuck yeah he's a Gallagher brother he doesn't, he doesn't give a shit yeah. he doesn't give a fuck whatever he wants to say he says yeah that's like very much the Gallagher family tradition, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Just the other brother's normal, I think. The third yeah. brother. Yeah. Damn. They have a third no, brother. A third a third brother. Was yeah. he an Oasis? No, he's not. <laughs> Imagine. He, what is he? Uh, he's he in works, the Oasis documentary. He works construction. Yeah, probably. You he know? lives with his mom, bro. Uh, oh, man. You don't, they, don't, they don't give money to the mom. No, they do. The mom lives very well. They hated the dad. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you should watch Supersonic. It's the Oasis documentary. Yeah. It's very good. Why is it called Supersonic? Because they have a song called Supersonic. How does that go? Is it good? I need to be myself. Oh, that's a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need no one else. Oh, yeah, that song. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's... Uh... Supersonic by Oasis, ladies and gentlemen. Performed by a snob himself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Steve's pounding that beer. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh chug, oh, chug, shit. chug. Steve's going to Pound Town on these, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Talking yeah. about Pound Town. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have nothing. No? No, I have nothing about uh, that. Uh, oh, guys, uh, we uh, we also, I uh, didn't, see. we didn't ask you. Uh, you. What's up? Did you guys finish with your weekend? Uh, uh, <laughs> we started out at the beginning of the podcast. We never got around to it. I don't it. think we ever, I just asked Steve if he was, he looked like he was well rested. I didn't talk yeah, about nothing wow. about a goddamn yeah. weekend, all right? Well, no, I don't want to know, you heard about your about fucking you weekend, all right? No, you, I don't you care about everyone's weekend, all right? You were, why? <laughs> it's always interesting what happens. It's always somehow related to something about this podcast or it's funny. Uh, were you done? What did you do this weekend, Steve? I don't, I know I was sick and I went to Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, so. I had a very uh, nice, pleasant uh, weekend. Yeah, you Jesus. were off on Monday. You did a. You did I was some, off on Monday. You did some shilage, a little bit of shilage. Oh, lots of shilage. Oh, perfect. Is that like a video game thing or? No, it's chillage. Oh, yeah. chillage. Yeah, some shilage. I didn't understand. You know, I, it's, I, I said it with a French accent. Oh, <laughs> you should lose your French accent and put it up your ass, huh? Oh, 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 that's great, but yeah. no, but uh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, did you have Thanksgiving dinner with your family, or you, did, you yeah. ditch them? did you ditch them? No, I didn't. Oh. I was uh, I was there all day. Oh, sad. oh, so he's like, I was there all day, guys. <laughs> so I did my deed. My my Thanksgiving actually got interrupted. Yeah, by um, so we're we're all chilling on the was couch. One of our friends. No, oh. what happened was was that um, my neighbor came over. A Chinese one? No, 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 no. Not a Vietnamese. Don't, don't, Jerk. Don't. Asian. <laughs> it's a different kind of Asian. Um, no, my, my neighbor next door is from El Salvador. And, uh, oh, yes. A, you've, uh, yeah. not, you didn't mention him on the podcast. You mentioned to me, uh, yeah, him yeah. to me the other last week. Yes. Actually. He, uh, he's a massotherapist. Uh, and as he said, oh. uh, in, in, in French, uh, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll try my best to do it in English, but he was like, no, no, no. Yeah, back in my country, I have my papers. <laughs> yeah, I have my papers. That was it. Oh, uh, so he's certified. Yeah. Oh, that's good. In his country. 
Oh, hey, uh, you yeah. know. So he can't do his massotherapy massages here in That's Canada. That's not what he told me. He told okay. me that in his country he has his paper. So you know what? Hey, well, it's just a location-based problem. Doesn't he make like special creams and stuff for yes. joint pain? He's like a he's like a full-on like naturalist, and it works apparently according yeah, to you. Yeah, dude, they're amazing. How's your shoulder pain, you old man? Uh, <laughs> okay, so so I'm gonna yeah, get tell to us the, a bit about that. I told him I told him about the shoulder pain, and he had given me like a like a this cool. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of like Rebe five three five, but it's all natural. Mm-hmm. And it really worked. Like the after two days, that that pain that I had went away. But I still have like some shoulder pain. So he had told me he was gonna come over and like fix it. Matsaju. Yeah. So he showed up on Sunday. He had said he was coming Sunday, but I go, oh fuck, I never confirmed. So he's probably not coming. Ding dong. He shows up. He's like half an hour. Let's go up and we'll come back down. Oh. So I go upstairs. <laughs> I go upstairs. He has his chair. I sit down in it. He starts like, like literally, like he grabs my hand, and it's just like hanging in the air. And then he like, if you could picture him, like you know, like when those people train with the ropes, at yeah, the yeah, CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. He starts going like that with my arm, but he does like a strong one, and my 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 uh, elbow and my shoulder pop like, <laughs> like completely, okay, like the most intense popping. And he's like, okay. Other side. Okay, so he goes to the other side. This is all in French, by the way. So Wait, you're not, you're not in pain at this point? He popped your shoulder. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened. I was Everything he touched was painful, but right after the pain, I started <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it was fucking madness. He does the other arm, and then he's like, okay, right. He's fucking entire body weight on the point of his elbow digging into my neck, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to become a fucking... I'm going to be reduced to a, to a wheelchair. I'm never going to be able to get to Johnny's because it's not wheelchair accessible for the podcast. <laughs> it's not. And, and I'm, 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 I'm fucking, I'm freaking out. Then he goes, okay, to the bedroom. I'm like, oh, Uh-oh. oh, yeah. So, it's it's after we so weakened you. He goes, he, he just, he motions to me like, you know, like, take it off. <laughs> so I take off my shirt and he looks at me and he, he does, he does it downwards. And I'm like, <laughs> like, I don't get it. You what are you? <laughs> What you want, you know? Uh-huh. And he's like, pantalon. Yeah. <laughs> what? So I go, oh, got to take off my pants. Okay. So I take off the pants. And now I'm lying down in my underwear while my neighbor is oiling me up. And and he's like, he just looks at me and he's like, you ready? And I'm like, uh. no, I don't know. <laughs> and it was half an hour of intense... <laughs> Intense pain, <laughs> followed by intense bursts of laughter, <laughs> and then at one point, all I remember was I flipped over, and he's doing like my back, and he's like, he's r- putting like all 180 pounds of his fucking arm into my back, and at one point, like he puts more cream on his hand, more uh, more uh, <laughs> that oil on his hands, and he literally just whips my boxers down and starts doing my glutes, and I'm like, oh my god, we're not neighbors anymore. <laughs> Like, oh, my God, we're not neighbors anymore. This is fucked. What's happening? <laughs> I, I am a little bit not comfortable. Then he flips me over and he gets, like, in front and he's like, what's are you, Did he rape you? No. <laughs> it was like it was like doing, like, half chiro, like a chiropractor and half, like, a fucking sadistic muscle therapist. Uh-huh. And it feels good now. Are you sure he didn't Fuck. touch you in an appropriate way? No, no, no. no. You could tell us. No, this is didn't. a podcast that's he on Spotify, multiple platforms. No, no, he did it. And Everyone's I, listening. I felt like shit yesterday, though. He goes, tomorrow, you feel horrible. Like, cheat. I'm like, oh. like that's not the, that's the opposite. <laughs> and he was right. Like, my, my muscles felt like they were, like, shaking. Oh, like, after a workout. Like, it was leg day. Yeah, but... Or body day. F- for 48 hours. Like and then today, today? I'm actually feeling fucking great. That's awesome. He said it, it's only. I'm only gonna really feel good after like three or four days. So like by tomorrow, the day after. Do you sleep better? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it was just in the moment. It's so. I. I. I think I, I, countless times I almost kicked him in the head. <laughs> he was doing like some like uh, like uh, like Latin voodoo. Mm-hmm. Shit. No, he was just like he was just like. What is, at one point, he dug into my fucking armpit, and he's like pressing, and he's like almost there, and I'm like, uh, where into my fucking heart? <laughs> like, where are you going? Uh, did you put deodorant that day? Okay, Johnny. 
okay, you have a box over here from an online company <laughs> run, run by Jeff Bezos. Why don't you put yourself in this box and ship yourself somewhere else? Huh? <laughs> wow, is that uh, where this is going? Well, yeah, you can, you can take this thing with you. You can podcast your travels. <laughs> yeah, I will, but you won't have a job. Oh, <laughs> and, you won't, and you won't have mics. <laughs> oh. oh. But I'm happy you feel better. That's good because yeah. you have a lot of neck and, you know, like a lot of neck issues and the shoulders. And the neckular uh, shoulder the region. Yeah. Issues. Unfortunately, yeah, and Steve has a lot of issues everywhere. Yeah, that's uh, that's also awesome. you should. You, oh, I man, should. I would pay to see you get, to get <laughs> your shoulder popped. You wouldn't be able to handle it. I'm I, sure I wouldn't. My my girlfriend wanted to do it, and I told her, I go, oh no, I go no. She's a weakling. No, no offense. No, no she wouldn't no. been able to handle it. Yeah. I couldn't. I I I don't have a problem. I don't think I like, could do it either. No, you should try it. though. No, I think I'm a pussy. No, yeah, so, you should yeah. try it. Yeah. Just try it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain, including pain. <laughs> like, I would try it. I want to be there when that happens. Okay. You have a Can deal? we podcast it? Oh, my God. Can- oh. <laughs> <laughs> just half an hour of Steve screaming. That's, that's just how what long, it would How long be. was the entire process? Like, like, it literally was the whole thing was maybe about a half hour. I could, uh, yeah. I could invest some yeah. time in that. I, he does that. give you like a massage, like a proper like in between pain sessions. He like, <laughs> and then to end it, <laughs> he just puts this thing on his ass. hand. No, li- yeah, oh. he, literally every single part of my major. <laughs> he's like hitting me, and I'm like, what? The fuck? <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I'm happy for you. Yeah, all that to say is uh, he has his papers. <laughs> <laughs> Is that time of the week yet? Oh, I think it oh. is. Dun, dun, t- 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 no, I was doing our theme song. Listen, <laughs> uh, it's that time of the week where you all lend your ears and impatiently wait for Hype Man Steve's ethnic song of the week. <laughs> so, what do we got uh, this week? So, this week, you know, it's my honor and privilege, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. To introduce um, our my selection, it's a uh, pop superstar Eden Benzakin and her song. <laughs> <laughs> please, From, please, sorry, repeat it again. Eden Benzakin. Is that a male or female or or, is, or they? No, it's it is. She is a woman. Um, oh, and yeah, uh, it, this song's from her first album. It's oh. called Malkat Hashoshanim. Which means, uh, according to Google, Mur- Queen of Roses. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something and- fucked up like Murder in the City of God. <laughs> <laughs> I would listen to a song. I know that. that. Yeah. I know that. W- w- okay, so, so once again, the title. The title is Malkat Hashoshanim. Oh, All right, and what does the story tell? The, what does the, the lyrics tell the so, story of? Uh, if I understand the translation right. Because it is what language? It's in Hebrew, mm-hmm. which is, you know, who, who doesn't have fun with that? And uh, basically, she's like kind of going out and about in Tel Aviv and shit, you know, doing what she does. Israel. Yes. And, um, you know, all the guys of town, they're all like, oh, shit. And they're trying to like impress her and try to pick her up, whatever. But uh, she kind of like rejects them all. And they're saying that she just kind of goes around and breaking hearts and stuff. And that's why she's like the queen of roses, has thorns, et cetera, et cetera. Is this a dance song? Uh, well, it's a pop song. It's a pop song. Pop song. Right, yeah. right. How did you discover this song? Uh, Instagram. On is someone that I follow had it playing in the in one of their stories, and I was wow. like, "Oh shit, that's crazy!" So I could you imagine how deep it? Steve wants to get cultured? As he hears a song in a background <laughs> of a story, and he's like, "What's that?" He pulls out his phone, but he probably has to like. No, it's gets, on my phone, so I have to take my uh, my tablet. He gets his tablet, or he'll that. ask someone else, like just. Pull out your yeah. Shazam and just Shazam this song. Yeah. And then he gets... How satisfied do you feel when it works? Very. I've discovered a lot of songs like that. Wow. Oh, is Tom, uh, Tom is uh, setting up the track here. Okay, no, but you have to uh, start it a bit and you want to start around the chorus. Uh, why? Because the rest of it is really bad? No, because if we only have a limited time and the funnest part's all. There. Technical oh. you, you know when uh, 
You know when you do that, Tom, when you play the track, it, it sounds like we're on AM radio. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what they're doing there. So, Steve, uh, that's your ethnic song of the that's week. That's my ethnic song of the week. And uh, uh, again, repeat the artist, the track title. <laughs> <laughs> it's haunting us. Oh. Yeah, they, it was actually still playing. Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know wow. what you thought was happening. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Was it playing this whole time? I guess so. No, no because I was getting a call. Yeah, no, you were getting yeah, a call. Exactly. Someone was yeah. calling you during a podcast. Yeah. That's rude. And yeah. I don't pick up. That's respect. That's respect. So, but, but next episode. The song is Malkat Hashon Hasho Shanim. And oh. it's by Eden Ben Zaken. Good luck oh. trying to type that one out, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Queen of Roses. Oh, that sounds like this episode's name. Oh. Yeah. Was, People uh, would definitely be intrigued by a title of that yeah. the nature. I think yeah. so. I, w- I would be like, hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And the best part is who knows that when they click on Queen of Roses, it's <laughs> going to be me getting destroyed by my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, I hope someone buffers to the point where you said me getting, getting destroyed, destroyed by, by my, my neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> and they're like, what did I miss? And they have to go back. And like, no, I can't find the spot. They'll have to listen to the entire podcast. Oh, yeah. my God. All of our bullshit in one hub. Wow. Conveniently. Conveniently. Yeah. Very nice hub. Across many platforms. <laughs> I think uh, after that, I think song of the week, I'm going to call it a night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kicking us out? Um, I am kicking you out. This has been episode blah 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 of Snotcast, yeah, it's a great, and um, it's a great number. It's a great number. Yeah. What I think is to the front of me. You could follow him on Instagram at Chef Thomas Di Donato. To the left of me, you could follow Hype Man Steve at Palstev. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. And you could follow me, Johnny, at Snob Reviews. This has been fantastic. It's always a pleasure seeing you boys. Always, uh, well, you know, yeah. whatever. All right. Well, <laughs> till next time. Yeah. Be good. Good luck and good night. If I have nothing else to do, I'll, I'll, I'll do another podcast. Okay. All right. All right. Thank uh, you. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>